And I know what we're talking about. And, I, and he knows what we're talking about. <laughs> this is huge. There was a meme I saw on Instagram. Not really a meme, but it was, it was something. It was Batman versus Superman, or Batman and Superman, and Captain America and Iron Man. And it said that Captain America and Iron oh, yeah. Man are the biggest, the bigger duo, or the more iconic duo, or rivalry, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, then Batman versus Superman, and it sounds crazy to me. When I saw that, automatically I said, "No Disliked. way." Yeah, but what? Well, but for me, I was like, that poses a really interesting. G actually punched me when he saw that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Quick pause. He was driving too. The car is not well. <laughs> so, uh, for everybody watching, who do you think is more iconic as a duo, Batman and Superman, or Cap and Iron Man? Comment away, please. like rivalry duo, whatever. Like yeah. two characters, and and the reason is, I think a lot of people um, who have not grown up with the comics, have not grown up with the Batman and Superman that we know, that we're inundated with in our culture, they're going to look at Cap and Iron Man as the two guys. And it's it's kind of, it's unfair to tell them, well, no, you're wrong, even though I'm going to tell them, no, you're wrong. And usually my stance is... The hardest decisions require the strongest of wills. Sure. Um, But what do you guys think about that? Yeah, no. Okay, I am coming from that younger generation, okay? No, you're a little bit older than that. See, generation. I'm that generation that doesn't relate to the '90s kids and doesn't relate to the uh, Tide Pod eating kids. Okay, yeah. so it's very um, good of you. Yeah, Batman or Superman? Because DC hit all the marks as a kids. Right. Nobody wanted to watch Marvel animated shows until the MCU came around. Right. I saw that online and I agreed with it. I did not give a rat's crap unless it was Spider Man. DC won the market for video games, comics, and animated shows and movies for the most part up until the MCU started. Now they're getting zucked. But just as a kid, everybody like wants to be Batman. Like I saw my friend Pano was working out in his gym, and he sent me a video of him wearing a Batman mask. I don't know. Just I'm just saying. But well, and and don't get me wrong. I I think that it's not. It is a valid, but it's not a valid um, argument because Captain America and Iron Man only became cool because of the movies in the past ten years. Exactly. Um, where I was gonna and go also, there's where... no rivalry. They just did in one movie. No, there in the comic. There's a big rivalry comic line. Don't get me, like the, let's not say yeah. there isn't. But, but they don't read the comics. But Batman and Superman. Batman's had more movies. Like even even the 2008 kids that got in with Iron Man, they're almost looking at Batman and Iron Man as two of the top. What what no, I was going to go back on what back. you said was uh, you're right. I think because of the the Marvel universe now, there's more of a relevancy. So now Iron Man and Captain America have actually been elevated to a point where they're part of a mainstream conversation. Yeah. When it comes to like duos or rivalries or whatever you want to call it, um, I I do think that yeah, there's there's more of a history in terms of. Um, you know, even just the age of comics with Superman and Batman, they're older mm. comics than, you know, Iron Man and whatever. Well, Superman was the first. Superman was the first. So I think there's a there's more of a history, but you're right. If it wasn't for the Marvel Universe now and the relevancy that it plays in, in, in the cinematic universe, whatever you want to call it, I don't think we'd be having this conversation 10 or 12 years ago. People were like, yeah. are you an idiot? Like, there's well, no 100%. way. Nobody knew but, who they were. Well, That's, many people didn't. You're at like yeah. Iron Man. They knew Iron Man. I felt that they knew more than Captain America. But now I feel like Captain America has taken more of a the of leader. a role. Uh, yeah, exactly. More of a more relevant role. Well, it all goes to like the Sony deal back when they bought you know Marvel selling their characters. Cause they were going bankrupt, bank bank bankrupt, bankrupt. bankrupt. I don't know what's yeah. that. Bankrolled. <laughs> they went bankrupt, and Sony said like. Just buy Spider Man. Like, who gives a crap with the other characters? Well, and and Iron Man was a D level character. He he yeah. was. Um, and I, Captain America was just kind of your Superman knockoff. That was the thing. Like, you've got those knockoffs that are there. Iron Man essentially is Batman, rich and has a suit. And Cap is not really Superman because he can't fly. But he, either he's portrayed as a symbol of good. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think. The reason, and, and, and he's a regular man. He, he's your regular super guy, somebody that that's always aspired to be bigger than he always is. That's what I. That's why I really like the first, the Captain America vs. Avenger one. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I would say no, one hundred percent. I adore the 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 Marvel movies over the DC movies. I've said this before, but I will never subscribe to the Captain America and Iron Man are bigger than Superman and Batman. It's just there's just no way. There's no weight behind it. I think maybe in twenty years, 
there could be an argument that because the kids that are now 10 years old or so that have we'll grown up with the it, MCU, yeah. their their history with Batman and Superman may be rockier than our history with Batman and Superman. That's fair. You, you want to say, go ahead. You're itching, I can tell. You are itching. Yeah. You're like, Nye. you're about Nye. to, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know what you guys are talking about. That's what I'm going to say until I was so rudely cut off from cutting off G. <laughs> uh, there was a poll. I don't know what site it was on, but it was on some site saying, who's the best superhero of all time? Yeah. And the votes were pretty, I don't know exactly who it was, but the number one was Iron Man or Captain America. Mm hmm. And like Batman, and Superman, and Spider Man, the main three that people would say the main three superheroes. Yeah, I would say those are the them, big three. Did not make sense to me because they're what, not. Like, where but were they on the list? Like, they were on the like top ten. I think they were top yeah. ten. Yeah. But yeah, and, and in that argument for me, I I, I put Batman above Superman, one hundred percent. Yeah. Well, I think in, in terms See, of and fame, I put Superman above Batman. You do. Hey? In terms of fame, I'd say Superman because he's just more of a recognizable symbol. He's the yeah. first. Popularity. He's the first one. He is the prototype. He is he is the reason why we have superheroes today. Yeah. For popularity, I'd say it's Batman over Superman, because people do like um, Bat- people tend to like lean more to Batman. And they, like I used to because there's Superman. better movies. I used to hate Superman hey. until I saw Man of Steel. See, for me, I always li- I liked again Superman, but I've always liked Batman. Just not from the movies. Um, the the his rogues gallery of villains, everything surrounding or Batman is just, and it's more relatable. I cannot relate to an alien. Well, uh, it that's helps why that you're a billionaire too, uh, for sure. In real life, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And your parents hey. died in an alley. <laughs> hey, 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 knock on wood, man. Come hey, on, hey, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. But no, Just you're, right. no, you, you, you're not. You're not from another planet, and you've no. got all and these superpowers. And that's why, and, he, and he's just too much of a goody two-shoes. Well, that's why. That's why Spider-Man is one of the more likable heroes. <laughs> he's the most relatable to everybody because yeah. everyone's been uh, bitten everyone's by a spider. <laughs> Everyone's been a teenager with a lot. Hell, you were in university and you were running a restaurant. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you were going through the stuff that Spider-Man was going, trying to juggle two different lives. Yeah. And now the only difference for you is that you weren't swinging around. I mean, maybe you were. I don't know. And if you have been, dude, what have you been waiting I, for? I tried to go up a wall once, remember? Oh, dude. <laughs> Everybody tried crawling up a wall. Prince you, of Persia. You were trying to Prince of Persia a wall, and then you twisted your ankle, and then we had to rehab you in the booth of your restaurant for like an hour. Oh, Anyway, man. here we you go. You were so excited, too. <laughs> so nobody oh, has God. said nobody said Captain America in uh, Iron Man. I don't know why. Spider-Man. So, 